Hi, everybody. Welcome to Mark's Backyard Birds. Today's topic is why you should not store your bird seed indoors. Um, I know we always uh, try to recommend, uh, especially people who are new to bird feeding when they come to the store, um, to uh, advise them, do not store your bird seed inside. The recommendations have always been keep in a cool, dry place. And, you know, th that can be interpreted by different ways for a lot of different people. But I learned years ago the hard way uh, not to store uh, grains, uh, especially, but also, uh, you know, seeds and things like that uh, indoors. Uh, the, the culprit behind most of that uh, is this little creature right here. Uh, the Mediterranean meal moth, the flower moth, the pantry moth, Indian meal. I've heard this thing, little tiny uh, moth called a lot of different things. But if you feed birds long enough, you are going to have an issue with this creature. The, uh, the meal moths uh, lay their eggs in uh, various grains and seeds, uh, and they, are, uh, they come to you in many different things, like they can be in dog food, they can be in flour. There's a great picture here of them in corn. This is the, uh, the caterpillar uh, which hatches from the eggs and is, uh, eats and eats and eats, and then it spins into a, a webby cocoon before it uh, uh, hatches and becomes the moth that flies around. Now, if you've ever had the problem of them in your house, you know how hard they are to get rid of. Mine came in uh, via a Christmas ornament that my daughter had made uh, at Sunday school, and, and she had stuck it in our little pantry. We didn't know it. It was gotten shoved around and hidden, and the next thing you know, we had these malls all in the pantry and in the house, and it took us quite a while to get rid of them. Um, I, no matter what, I it, some people, well, I keep them in my garage. Is my garage cold enough? Well, I don't. I don't believe in it. I, I, you know, when I first bring my bird seat in from the when I bring it home, it may stay in the garage for a few days before I get it moved out. But how I store mine are in metal trash cans outside. Now, the reason metal, of course, is that we have marauding mammals that can chew through plastic, uh, they, especially squirrels and raccoons, uh, but the, the, I have found that it's just safer to store bird seed outside in a shady place is best, of course, and somewhere kind of out of the way, uh, but the different size cans can, can you know, hold a combination of things. and. Uh, I, I've had people make the mistake of bringing in a bag of bird seed, sitting it down by uh, a vent uh, on the floor and the heat blowing on it. And what happens is these eggs will hatch when the average temperature gets higher, like maybe in the 70s and, and 80s. And I've heard they can hatch much lower than that. So uh, you know, keeping them out of there. Now, what are some of the things that you can do uh, to help if you do experience them? Because eventually you will. Um, one of the, the main things you can do uh, is if you have the refrigerator space or the freezer space by uh, breaking your bags of birdseed down into smaller bags and putting them into a freezer. That's what I always did for my mom when I took her, I'd take her like 20 pound bags of fine chips for her goldfinches. Um, I would break them into Ziploc bags for her and I would put the Ziploc bags in the freezer and she could just get one out at a time to fill in her feeders. Two weeks in a freezer will kill the eggs and everything of these uh, meal moths that are in your uh, the freezer. This little guy right here, uh, it, it, they all be flying around everywhere. And like I said, I've heard them called meal malls, pantry malls, food malls, uh, uh, Indian meal malls, Mediterranean meal malls. I have heard all kinds of names for this, these little guys. But one thing's for sure, they can come in and anything. I remember them uh, finding little holes in cornmeal in my pantry one time where they had been in there. They, Like I said, they're, we eat them all the time, especially the eggs, but they're cooked in our food. We don't, you know, and you might be going gross, but we do that with a lot of things. So that's why cooking is, you know, kind of really important. But uh, they can't hurt you, uh, but they're just gross and problematic. And these little uh, caterpillars are theirs that hatch from the eggs they lay. Uh, they can get in anywhere. And they uh, and they'll pupate. They'll you know spin a little cocoon and uh, and then they'll emerge as those moths. And I'm telling you, you can find them everywhere. Whenever we they were in our pantry, we were finding them. You know, around 
the rim of, of cans. We found them under the caps, inside the cap of an unopened uh, ketchup bottle. So they can be real problematic. Um, now, the, first, the one thing that's automatic with them in our store is we have the pheromone traps out for them. And there's a little pink square up in there. You can see it maybe on this one, maybe a little better. Oh, no, this one was better. You can see, and these are pheromones for uh, attract the males. Uh, they smell on that sticky paper and they train, they get trapped on there. Uh, and they, they, they work great. We keep them out in the store 365 days a year. If I ever see sign of one in my house, I, auto, I automatically get some and I put them uh, out in the house and kind of hidden tucked away places because they just fly around and fly around and, and, and they'll get stuck in that. Another place they get stuck in in the store are our bird baths that we have running uh, with wigglers and stuff. They go to the water and they get trapped in the water. So uh, the Mediterranean mill malls are, are, are real pest. And the like I said, I, I always store mine outside. But the, the, the metal, re it, for the reason, is because I had a, co a company one time who uh, made this big plea to me about these uh, real hard plastic, um, uh, more decorative containers that they had. And I brought them in just to give them a try. And I put one on my deck. And within a week, a squirrel had chewed a hole into this plastic container that was supposedly were squirrel proof. Uh, and once the squirrel get going on it, then of course you're going to get the raccoons, and they find that they 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 smell that that food scent, and they have to have it. Now my bird seat containers, uh, they fit these trash cans fit really tightly on there, but I've had uh, lids that didn't fit as tightly, and the raccoons could flip them off and get in there. So in those, I have to run a bungee cord from handle hand to handle over the top of it. So. Uh, Please, again, be warned, if you put your bird seed inside, especially where it's in warm and winter, you're going to see these, these insects hatch. They're going to, and then you're going to go, oh, no, and there's nothing you can do about it. It's just part of feeding birds. Like I said, they're in dog food as well, and they're also in some of the other, uh, like flowers and cornmeals and things like that. So be aware, uh, uh, take uh, caution, pheromone traps are great, um, the, uh, the the metal trash cans outside are the best solution. I know sometimes you can't do that, but uh, the freezer the, the freezer solution works really, really well. If you find that there, you see some crawl in the bag, stick that bag in the freezer and it will kill everything in there, the, the eggs, the caterpillars and the, the moths themselves. So uh, please heed my warning, store your bird seed outside. Uh, and you won't have problems with these, these, these pests that we're, Addressing today, so the meal malls or pantry malls, they can be a real problem, but we can we learn how to work around them. So great idea for a program. If you like it, please give us a like, give us a share. Uh, if you're on YouTube, please subscribe and ring that bell so you know when uh, I'm going to be on again. That, that combined, let's talk birds.